Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to be accessing or updating object properties. After you've created a JavaScript object, you can update its properties at, at any time, just like you would update any other variable. You can use either dot or, or, or bracket notation to update. For example, let's look at our dog. Our dog is equal to where the name is camper, legs is four, tails is one, and friends is everything in brackets with a string. Since he's a particularly happy dog, let's change his name to Happy Camper. So his name was Camper, we wanna make it Happy Camper. Here's how we update his, this, his object's name property. So we're setting our dog.name is equal to Happy Camper. So that's just that easy. You call the, um, the object name, and then you put a dot and then the key afterwards, key pair. And so it's name, and this renders, this will change Camper to Happy Camper. Our dog name is equal to happy camper. So here they're just saying if they render it out, it'd be, oh no, they're doing it in bracket notation here. And whereas here they're doing it in, in dot notation. So both of these would do the exact same thing. And um, really it's just a decision that you get to make as to which or, whether you want to make it like this or that. They're, they do exactly the same thing. Now when you, we, except for you can have a space here, whereas you can't have a space in this example. Now, when we evaluate our dog dot name, instead of getting camper, we'll get his new name, Happy Camper. Update my dog object's name property. Let's change her from coder to Happy Coder. You can use either dot or bracket notation. So if we come over here, we've got our dog, and they want us to change my dog. And so we're only going to change code below this line. Um, so if we were to uh, console.log my dog, you're gonna see we get an object. Now, what happens if we go my dog dot name? Uh, is that what we wanna change here? Object name property. Okay, we wanna change it from coder to happy coder. And so here is um, the object before the change. So, okay, here I've just added a string in after here. So it's pointing to here. Basically it's saying this is the coder, this is the name. Um, now, if we were to go console.log, if, well, if we do the exact same thing and then uh, remove this code and say after the change, we'll be able to see that this is the name before and then this is the name after. So right now we're not changing it, it's still just coder. But if we come over here and we say um, my dog.name is equal to happy coder, you're gonna see after, as the, as the um, terminal runs, it's going to come out here. And so we've changed it to happy coder. Um, so here, we've console logged it out, so it logs it while the name was still in its original format here. And then we're changing it here, and then we're console logging it out the other way. If you run the tests, you'll see they pass. Um, another thing is that we can do this with bracket notation as well. Let's say we comment that out and we still have it be coder. We could make it my dog. Uh, name is equal to happy uh, coder. And then we've changed it here. And so again, the test will pass like this using bracket notation. And then let's say, but here, what I'm noticing here is that we're writing out happy coder twice, which is, um, which is silly. Um, so I would set it to, I would just say uh, variable new name is equal to happy coder. And then instead of having to write this out multiple times, um, we can just change this variable to new name. Yeah, new name. And then this variable to new name. And you see it still works like this. And if we comment this out by pressing commands backslash and comment this one back in, you'll see it works as well. And so the, what I'm doing here is just not repeating myself. If I wrote, if I wanted to change the name again, I can just, instead of saying the name is happy coder, it can be happy coder with an exclamation mark then both of these functions will work without me having to change them. I hope that this makes sense. Please let me know if you are a little bit confused. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.